you talked about visual impacts. Where are you doing those visual impacts from? I mean, I know you you said that before. Yep. I mean, can you know that there's been some questions from the public about visual from, let's say, Grindstone Island, or Potter's mm -hmm. Beach as an example. Or you know, we have some folks that are here that live very close proximity to the town line. Are there any visuals that are going to be done from uh, County Route 9, uh, St. Thomas Corners area? Or is it just is it just along the waterfront? No, we, uh, so we proposed, we're, we're thinking about along St. Lawrence Road, along 12E, uh, the corners that you mentioned. The idea is we have a list that we're compiling now, and we'd like to share that with you if you want to add to it, the town or the village. Uh, we have to take a look at it. We want to have your feedback on which locations are most wanted. Did, did, you, did you include grants on that? Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to go back to the list. Okay, you, that's one you may want to. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I know for the offshore simulations, we went about as far down as just before, you know, just short of the village before we started working our way back. So we've got somewhere in the order of 10 to 12 different offshore locations. That we take. And I think if you would pick an area like uh, Potter's Beach would cover that. I don't know, what are you thinking, Chris? I, I would think that the Hatcher Islands <coughs> and the smaller islands, Whiskey Island and Taipoos. If you moved back a half mile right from out. your uh, previous plan, why can't you move back five miles? Uh, I mean, five, five miles would more or less consume the entire town of Cape Vincent. No, no, no. You don't understand. No, I'm not following. Pull the whole footprint back. Oh. Why can't you pull it back to whatever? So the project's been in development since 2005. I understand that completely. Yeah, so uh, uh, we're kind of at the point now where the company wants to move forward. Where we've been I think I know the answer. I mean, development in quite some time. I'm not a pro wind person because I think it's quality of the wind. <coughs> From the wind studies that put up those net towers, that's why. Higher winds closer. To the <coughs> is, is, well, that, is that true that the wind blows harder inland than closer to the river? Is that factual? To answer your question, we've been moving in various parcels in, in line and Cape Vincent. Well, wouldn't it alleviate a hell of a lot of uh, stone throwing here if you just uh, pulled back the optimum amount and get yourself off the river? I believe there's a moratorium on wind in the so I don't know, I don't know if there's much opportunity for us to construct there. <coughs> Again, from the public's perspective, if there's any specific questions on the Cape Vincent project, I would encourage you to ask those questions of VP in there directly. But the purpose of this, the town of Cape Clayton and the village of Clayton are considered stakeholders, and they gave a presentation to us. We did not ask for the presentation. It was part of their responsibility to give it to us. We've received it. Uh, I think you get the sense from some of the village board members and some of the town board members, um, and from the public perspective, if there's any specific questions, we would ask that you ask them directly to BP and, and get their direct response in from them. At, at, at one of their venues rather than our venue here for this purpose. Uh, the idea of the public involvement program you, is to yeah, share you did, data. You, catch up. You, you said you're going to take a sideline from County Room 9 and stuff. And how, how will we view that? How will you, you will, you know, how are we going to view that? Yeah, the thought would be we put together some kind of photo log and come to agreement on which photos we're going to use. I see. Print kind of simulation. Okay, very good. Yes. Uh, obviously, uh, BP is. Uh, in business to make money. If this were not a federally subsidized project, would BP be involved with it? Is it economically viable? Uh, you know, New York has some of the highest power prices in the country. I think that's part of the reason why. That's not a question. The project. Um, there's, a, there's a production tax credit the industry enjoys. Uh, that's that's part of what is involved with the wind deal. That, that's how we view all of our projects. That's how the industry views it. Uh, I've, I've never looked at a wind project without that in place, so I couldn't directly answer that question. You've never done a wind project without subsidization? We've never looked at a wind project without a production tax credit right in place. You've never done a wind project without subsidization? He's not built a project without a yes. PNC. Okay, that answers that. The visual study that you're going to do, what could possibly <coughs> affect your project? What with the visual study? What, what could affect it? Give me a, can I, I look at an example of what might affect the study. Um, 
you could have structures in place. I think you know. Um, you can have structures in place, you get a vegetation in place. We try to look at it both leaf on and leaf off to get a better sense mm -hmm. of how that might look. Um, mm -hmm. we, try to, we try to ask the municipalities that we're working with, you know, which areas are most aesthetically important to them. Um, because I just, I question any, growing up on the river and looking up at the twin towers on Wolf Island today, to me that's a negative impact no matter where you see them from, whether it's the bridge or Carlton Island. And would that, is that going to have an effect on your project? Does the, I'm not sure I understand. Well, I think the consensus is, is that seeing the windmills on Wolf Island from the river is a negative impact to the, to the community and to the area. Do you see <coughs> that as being, that, that consensus as being a negative impact to your project? We don't see that consensus. And just to start with your core statement, mm -hmm. uh, we actually see a lot of support within the community for mm -hmm. the wind project. So, from our perspective, there. So I'm talking the visual. I'm not talking about the, the, the scope of the project. I'm yep. talking the visual impact that you're talking about doing in the study. Yep. Right. The, old, the I think the consensus would be <laughs> that from the river, it's a negative impact, and will that have any impact on your Right, so I'm saying that the core of your question is an assumption that, that the turbines are a negative impact. We haven't seen that okay. as community outreach, mm -hmm. from a community outreach perspective. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mr. Chandler, thank you for your time. Thank you for the time.